Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Come on in and make yourself comfortable. I'm just me, Marlene, and I am delighted that you have joined me. If you're new here, welcome. Thank you very much for joining me. And if you've been here before, thank you very much for coming back. Lockdown is finally easing here in Ireland. We are finally starting to be able to get out and about a little bit more. The shops have reopened and Mama had to go to Penny's. Now, in Ireland, Penny's, that's Primark. Primark is called Penny's here in Ireland. Um, but it's the exact same shop. A lot of the stuff that you would buy in our Penny's, is, it actually has a tag on that says Primark. So it's the exact same shop. But it was one of the first shops that I went into. I am not going to lie to you. I was very anxious going in there because I have a higher risk daughter. Um, so the virus is scaring the living daylight out of me. I'm not going to lie to you. But I needed a few basic things. Leggings was the reason I went up there for because I literally have not a single pair left because I've worn them out over lockdown. I really have. So I thought I'd give you a wee peek into what I have bought uh, on my first trip out and about since lockdown. I haven't even taken any of it out of the bag but the first thing I picked up as I said the reason I went up there was for leggings um yeah leggings three euro fifty that's all I pay for them I get them in a size um extra large which is an 1820 um I wear a size 20 in trousers but these are so nice and stretchy they fit absolutely perfect also a piece of a tag sitting on there three euro fifty you can't go wrong it's incredibly cheap for a pair of leggings so i picked up two of those so here is the black leggings just plain and simple leggings there's not much to say to them and my t-shirt's bunched up underneath it but i just wanted to show you them i also picked up a pair of uh workout leggings um primark class pennies is where i get all my workout um trousers from all my leggings from simply because they fit me perfect the quality is decent and to be honest with you they're so cheap now i haven't tried these on yet i'll try them on for you in a minute um to see but yeah it's just because i work out most days i go through an awful lot of them so what did i pay for these price eight euros extremely cheap they have writing down the side but i think it'll be easier to show when I put them on. I don't even know what it says, to be honest with you. Run, I think it says, yeah. So, but very, very nice, so I hope they fit me. And there's the training leggings. They fit me absolutely perfect. They are a wee bit loose down in the ankle, but that's very normal for me because I have a very slim ankle compared to my calf and my thigh. So that's normal for me, but yeah, I think they look really good. And it says run. And then it's just run down there at the ankle again. Yeah, they're absolutely perfect. Love them. I also picked up a pair of flip flops at the price of one euro. This is crazy. To be honest with you, I only wear these, you know, when I'm around the house or anything like that. And I just need to go into the garden in the summertime. And I like to have a couple of pairs in the house, but literally I had, my daughter wears the same size shoes as me. So she comes in and she uses them. And she told me the last day she picked up the last pair I had lying in my shoe wardrobe. So I thought I'm going to get another pair to start stocking up a wee bit. But one euro, you can't go wrong. Next up, I picked up the essentials. Yes, has to be done. I always buy these bits here. Um, this is the dry shampoo that I wear, my deodorant. It's just basics. I picked them up in pennies. It's the cheapest place I found to get them. So I thought I might as well stock up while I'm there. More dry shampoo. Now I also picked up a couple of hair bobbles. What do you call these? Um, scrunchies. Can't think of it. Um, a scrunchies is a kind of new thing that I've started to get, but my hair is probably because it needs a good haircut. Obviously it hasn't been done and won't be done for quite some time yet um, due to lockdown and all that sort of stuff. But the waiting lists are crazy around here and out of the local community because our poor hairdressers are working flat out. So it could be another month or so before I get my hair done, but my hair kind of starts to break a wee bit and needs a good, a good trim. I was told the scrunchies is one of the best thing to use for tying up your hair. So I thought I am going to pick up a few. I got three scrunchies for three euros. Now, the next thing I picked up was false nails. Um, 
We have a great nail technician who lives just over the road for me and she does a great job at it. But I do martial arts. So when I go to our local craw and get them done, they are so beautiful, but unfortunately I can't wear them for training. So when, when we are training, it's, it's too dangerous for me to wear them, but I love them. So I thought I'm gonna give some false nails a try and see if that could be an option for me. Now I'm not going to lie to you because it'll be a while before we can go back to training again. I will get my nails done as soon as I possibly can with my local uh, nail technician, but I thought I'd give these a try. So I don't know if they come with glue. Yes, it does say they come with adhesive with glue. So I don't know if these are with stickers or with glue, it doesn't matter. I picked up some nail stickers. These are just, you just put them under the nail. Um, you stick them onto your own nail and then you put the false nails on top. I have no idea if they're good enough, strong enough with the hold the nail. I just need the nails on for a few hours. So I, I don't know, but I did pick up a bottle of nail glue as well. Um, do you want to see me try and put these on? I'm not going to do now. Um, uh, see, I have... I'll get back to that point. One sec. Next up, I picked up a whole heap of false lashes. Why did I pick up false lashes? I don't normally wear false lashes. I don't think you've ever seen me with false lashes on. But I really want to learn how to put these on. So I picked up some um, individual... Well, they're not individual. They're what? Clusters. Isn't that what they're called? Well, they're like that. And I picked them up long because I actually have quite long lashes. So... Then I picked this one up, which is a full look. This one, which is a natural look. And which one's the last one? This one is called the Edge number two. So they're kind of like they feather, they're like they're bigger at in the outer corner. At one euro fifty for these set. Yeah, that one is one euro fifty. One euro fifty each. It's dirt cheap. And I thought, you know what? I want to learn how to put these on and I'm actually going to film a video, which is why I'm coming back to the nails. I am going to be filming a video of me learning to put on lashes. I'm going to see if I can find a tutorial online and I'm going to follow that tutorial and see if I can learn to put these on because I really want to learn. Really want to learn. It would be, it would be cool. Yeah, it would. And that's why I was thinking, should I do the same with the nails? Should I film a video, see if I can find a tutorial? That would help us put on the nails. Would you be interested in watching that? If you do, um, yeah, give me a thumbs up so I know that you'd be interested in watching that content as well. Now, I decided to pick up some jewelry while I was up there. If you know me, you know I'm a magpie. You know I love gold. Um, and I tend to wear earrings. Um, yeah, so I thought, you know, I, I needed a couple of new pairs. So I picked up this little pair. I think they are so pretty with those little gold flowers on there and the little gems sitting down as well. Three euros for this pair of earrings. And I think these like, this is the kind of earrings that you'd wear with any outfit really, because they're there, but they're not like in your face bold. So these are just perfect. Next up, I picked up this pair. I think these are so pretty. I've seen these, uh, something very similar to these on different websites as I've been shopping for my channel. Um, and I really, really like the aesthetic of these. But I hadn't kind of, mm, will I order them, will I not? And then I left it. But when I saw them in pennies, can you see it says Primark? Yeah, it's the exact same. Three euros and I just thought they were so pretty. So it was time to give them a go. The last pair of earrings I got is a pair of hoop earrings. These are quite big. They came in at 150. Um, they're thicker than the hoops that I have already. Let's see, can you see the closure there? If I just do like that. It's one of those closures there. So yeah, they're thicker than the pair that I have already, which is why I kind of, they caught my eye straight away and I thought, ooh, they might be a replacement for the ones I have. The ones I have was a multi-pack that I picked up, which I also actually think was in pennies that I picked them up, but I'm just not fond of them. Um, although I love the aesthetic of them, I just don't really like them. So I think these one looks to be a bit better quality, which is why I picked them up. And at one euro 50, it's a steal. The last of the jewellery I picked up is well, it's a bit hard to see, but it's a bunch of rings for my fingers. I love these ones here because they have all the gems on them. Every single one of them are gems, which I think is so pretty. There's green, yellow, pink, 
blue and the last one does not have any on we'll see if it'll focus that one just have to it won't really focus for that it just has to like a little pattern and so there's no gem in that one um four euros for five rings i think that's it's very very cheap i got them all in the large one simply because i have quite chubby chubby fingers um but i also like if i can wear them on different fingers and not just on my ring fingers so yeah i'm gonna give those a try the last thing i picked up was this little skort I don't think I've ever owned a squirt before, but if you've seen my previous videos, you know that I'm in desperate need of summer clothes and the weather has been absolutely lovely. Mind you, it's bucketing down today, but that's beside the point. It is still warm here and I'm actually wearing shorts today. I have this romper on from Sheen, which I love, but I thought this was kind of cute. Now, what really attracted me to it was the print. It is a tiny little, are these daisies? I think so. I think they are absolutely adorable. And yet they are black and white just with a little hint of yellow in it. So it will match a lot of the tops that I have. Um, let's see. I got in a size 20 and I haven't tried them on, which I normally would. But I don't actually think that you can get into the fit rooms when you're in the shops at the moment, which I don't mind. Um, I tend to try on everything before I buy it, but so be it. I'll just return it otherwise. I paid eight euros for it and I got it in a size 20. But if you look here, it is, it looks like a skirt in the front. So this flap is here, but then in here you have, can you see, if I do like that, maybe I can see myself, then you have the shorts here. So it is, it does have the shorts bit between your legs there, but it then has this little skirt bit down the front and then it has the tie ribbon out here to the side. On the back, they look like a complete pair of shorts. I know it's difficult to see, but I'll pop them on and let's see if they fit. So here's the little skirt. That is so cute. No, no pockets. I had hoped. So as you can see, there is the little skirt part. And then you have the tie ribbon here. Like the tie ribbon doesn't do anything at all. It's just there for decoration. So it does look like a wrap skirt. But I do think that is extremely sweet. So, but yeah, they just look like shorts. Otherwise, they do have an elastic band here in the back, which I really, really like. There's no stretch in the material at all, um, but because you have the elastics there in the back, they're easy enough to get on and off. I think they're really sweet. What do you think? I like these. But that is what I got on my first little outing out to the shops ever since lockdown started in, when was it, March? March, we went on lockdown, I think. As I said, I went up to get a few basic pieces, um, especially the leggings was what I really needed. And the other bits and pieces just happened to fall into the cart. I did pick up a few basics for my children as well, but they asked me not to share them on video and I'll of course respect that. Um, but yeah, that's the few bits and pieces I got. I'm really happy with the few things that I've got. And I'm delighted that leggings and the skorts fit perfectly. So that's brilliant. So, but yeah, listen, if you'd like to see that nail video, please give this video a thumbs up. I'll probably shoot it, even if you don't want to see it. Yeah, I probably will. Knowing me, I probably will, because it'll be fun. And me and my eldest daughter, Emma, are going to have loads of fun with these eyelashes. Because um, I really want to learn how to put them on. It would be so cool. Anyway, listen, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video.